Welcome back aliens, my name is Savin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. Now in this video we'll talk about a switch case. Now what is switch here? So let's say an example here. So I want to print at what time or maybe I want to set an alarm. So based on a day example, on Monday I want to wake up at 7 a.m. On Tuesday I want to wake up at 4 a.m. So as a trainer, I have a contract with different companies and based on that, uh, I have to take a training for different countries and we have to get up at different times. So when I'm taking training uh, for a company in UK, I have a different time zone, right? I have to wake up at different time. So when I take a training for Singapore batch, I have to wake up at different time. So the alarm changes per day, right? So that's tricky, I know. But I want to create an example here where based on the day, I want to set an alarm. Example, on Monday, I want to wake up at let's say 7 a.m. Then on uh, Tuesday, because my batch starts from Tuesday to let's say Thursday, uh, it depends actually, but let's say till Thursday I want to wake up at 4 a.m. because my batch starts at uh, 5 and uh, and let's say on Friday I want to wake up because Friday I don't have any work so I, I will get up at let's say 9 a.m. and that extreme and on Sunday, and Saturday Sunday I have uh, YouTube work so I will let's say I wake up at uh, 8 a.m. It's not a hardcore day. So I get up at 8 anytime on weekends. So this is my schedule, right? So I just want to wake up based on this. Okay, uh, so how do I do that? Of course, we will not be building an app for alarm here, which is a very big application here. We just want to print at what time I should get up based on a day you pass. Example, if I pass a day here, and if I, let's say the day is, um, if I pass a Monday, it should print 7 a.m. If I pass, let's say Friday, it should print 9 a.m. Okay, that's the only thing I want to do. So what do you think? What should be done here? Now, one thing we know, we can use an option of if else, right? So we can check for each condition. So uh, we'll check if the day is Monday, we'll simply print 7 a.m. But do we have a better option from that? In fact, what I would suggest is pause this video, complete this example with the help of if else, comment your answer, and then we'll move towards the alternate. Even if you don't know how to solve this, scroll through the comments. Someone would have commented the right answer using if else. Refer that and then we'll see the solution. So the solution is not to use if else. Of course, that can be done, but we will be using a special thing. Because in if else, you have to apply multiple conditions, right? Because if you observe, uh, we have to compare each day, then you have to print. Instead of that, we can simply use a thing called switch. Now in switch, it's again a new keyword. In this switch you have to pass a variable. In this case the variable for us is day. So we are passing day and we'll open this block. Now based on what day you have passed you have to print it right. So it will check for multiple cases okay comparisons. So we'll write the first case here. The first case is let's say Monday. Of course I'm interchanging double quotes single quote but that's, that perfectly works. If the day is Monday in this case I will print 7am as simple as that. Okay, and then what if the case is let's say Tuesday in this case I will simply say Tuesday and then we'll print I know it will take a lot of time to type this so it means complete the entire stuff and let me just fast forward that Okay, so let's say this is the uh, entire schedule, right? So based on the day I have entered all the options here, right? So if it is Friday, it will print 9 a.m. So I just want to check if this is working. So how it works is whatever day you pass, it will simply take that day in this variable and then it will, it will try to match. So whatever you have passed will match with the case, okay? Uh, will this work? So what we'll do is instead of starting with Monday, let's start with Sunday because that's how we start our week, right? Okay, I know that's weird, but let's do that. So let me just print this code and let's see if this works. If I run this code, that perfectly works. You can see on Sunday, I'll be getting at 8 a.m. That is working. But how about if I make it Monday? Now that's tricky. Uh, it's because if you see the output, it is showing all the alarms here. 7 a.m., 4 a.m., 9 a.m., 8 a.m. Why? It's because this, that's how switch case works. The moment it tries to match. In the earlier case, it was trying to match with Saturday, right? So when you say Saturday, it will check for the first case. Is it Saturday? Of course not. Is it matching with Tuesday? No. Is it matching with Wednesday? No. It will go ahead, go ahead and at the end when you say Sunday, oh, it, it was Sunday, right? So it will match with Sunday and it will print 8 a.m. Now, since none of the cases matches at the top, it will go till the end, it will print 8 a.m. But in this case, we are saying Monday, right? So it is matching at the start itself. Once you match the case, it will simply fall through. 
it will print all the consoles. It will, it will simply say, hey, I got my match. Let me print everything which I can see on the screen or in the blog. In this case, you have to mention, hey, once your case matching is done and once you feel, hey, you got Monday, that's great. Just get out of this case. <laughs> okay, that's you have to mention. Just get out. So after everything, you have to mention that. We'll do that up to some time. So what I will do here is I will simply print and you can see we got 7 a.m. So what is this break? So break means jump out of the block. So you can see we have switch and when you say match, once it is matching, it will go to break and break will say, hey, get out, get out of this block and directly you're jumping outside the switch case. But yes, if you print something here and we can say buy or we can say get lost just for fun. And if I run this code, you can see we got 7 a.m. get lost. Instead of this, we should say buy. So buy will get printed because it is outside the switch block. So just printing 7 a.m., it will print buy. And you can see we got it. But now let's move towards Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. If you can observe, the block inside each case is the same, right? So when you have the same block, what you can actually do is you can skip this part. Technically, we should write break in each one as well. But since we have the same thing, we can just mention once and that is in Thursday. So what it will do is it will simply take for Tuesday. If it is matching, it will fall through. It will reach till Thursday. Now in Thursday, we can put a break so that we, it will not fall through for Friday. For Friday also, we can mention break because Saturday is different. And for Saturday and Sunday, we have same. So we can just remove this and we can just get this for... In fact, we don't have to mention break at the end because we know it's the end. Let's try. We got 7 a.m. Uh, let's try it for, uh, let's say, Wednesday. And you can see we got 4 a.m., right? So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it's 4 a.m. So that's how we can use a switch block. Now there is one more. What if I entered a day which is wrong? What if I say holiday? <laughs> In this case, you can see it is not matching with any of the day here. So we can write a case which is a default case. So default simply means if none of this matching, then you can go for default. And default, you can say sleep. Or we can say uh, 7 a.m. and want Telesco videos. <laughs> I know, that's weird who will watch the videos on holidays. But if you want to improve yourself, that's what you would do. And then we have to also put break on Sunday because we have another case after Sunday. So let's run this corner. You can see we got, uh, so when you say it is holiday, it will print 7 a.m watch telescope videos cool uh, so that's how we can use a switch case i hope you enjoyed in this video let me know in the comment section and yeah that's it from this video bye bye